All right, out of Avatar, Way of the Water. I made it. I am exhausted, to be honest with you, uh, physically, uh, mentally, and a little spiritually. Um, this movie was good. Overall, it was actually a very good movie. Uh, from start to finish, it is a visual masterpiece. I don't think anyone expected anything less from James Cameron. It is honestly just beautiful to look at. But aside from visually, the story is actually uh, very good. I'm not going to say it's incredible. Uh, it has a bit of a recycled feeling, which actually bummed me out a bit. Uh, and that was especially for the villain in this movie. Um, but they, of course, get us from the land to the sea. And all of that is, is stunning. Um, I think I just w would have wished for a little bit more of a uh, separation from the first film. But if you really enjoyed the first film, you're really going to enjoy this movie. It's very family oriented. Um, and so it tugs on the heartstrings, I think, in all the right ways. And if uh, you have no problem sitting through a three hour movie, um, then I think you're absolutely going to have a good time at the theater. Um, to be honest, though, there are times in this movie where it kind of feels like you're watching a, a 4K or 8K display at Best Buy on a TV. You kind of wonder why you're watching this other than because it's beautiful. And that's really the only reason. So could it have been a two and a half hour movie? I think so. 245. I don't think we had to get it all the way to three. But really, the last hour of this movie Every minute matters, and it has a very strong finish, um, so I highly recommend, whether you see it in theaters or see it at home, it's a must-see. Um, I really enjoyed it. I cannot wait for the third one. Let me know what you guys think once you check it out. Comment below. Like, subscribe, the Know Nothing Show. Wait for the full review coming out uh, next week. We film on Monday. Later.